Good evening, everybody. This is Celtics 84. Two is part 20. Let's play. Fair friends are F. Last time we left off, we start the uh, the Subterranean Dungeon, and we're trying to see what's in store for us. And in far in far through my recording session, I did I did grind a little bit. What a coincidence? Since this is part 20, look look at their levels. Yep, off my level 20. What appropriate episode. <laughs> This is never two mark two all over again when I have my level thirty on part thirty. <laughs> anyway, let's go um trigger this event. Don't wanna waste any more time, but let's see what's in store for us. Hey, Aaron. Huh? Huh? Oh, what? Don't let your guard down. We've still got a long way to go. Did something catch your eye, Aaron? I I already know that. Do you remember anything new? Sure, but something just feels really off. It's hard to explain, but it feels sort of nostalgic. It kind of makes me nervous, though. Overall, it's just a weird feeling. So there might be a clue to Aaron's memories in this tower, huh? I see. So you, yeah, oh yeah, we're here to. F really not only we're here for the next fury, but we're trying to find a. Uh, Find some clues about Aaron's memories, apparently. I heard that this place was built centuries ago by a wise and ancient civilization. A wise and ancient civilization? Do you have the repeater there, Tierra? Yeah. It's theorized that this civilization received their wisdom directly from the gods. So how's everyone? Is today is technically today is uh, October the eighth, 2014. Even though I'm recording this at 12:02 a.m., October 9th. All I did was play Jack 2, and oh my god, that game was that those freaking missions on Jack 2 are insane. But don't worry, folks. I'm still planning on doing what's play Jack 2. But just expect a lot of rage from me. And, and please don't tell me to stop raging, because that's not going to happen. But you see what I mean when I LP Jack 2. Alright, so apparently there's no boss, for, there's no uh, boss just yet. Which I thought it was. Alright. I really want to go this way. This way you want to go. Oh, hello. You're from the first Neptunia. As I, as I, as I already said that in, my, in one of my videos. Alright. I believe this is where you want to go, right? Yeah. Oh god, watch out for the swordfish. I might be at the at appropriate level for the boss of this dungeon, but we just have to see. Whoa! Just come out of nowhere, dude! Don't scare me like that. Ugh. Okay. Since I level grinded so much, I might as well voice some voice some battles. Cause you never know, we might we might run to a long cutscene. I'm just saying. All right, this item here, what could it be? A mithril stone. Hmm, from Kingdom Hearts. Okay. Let's go. Let's make a U-turn. Oh wow! Fucking camera. No touchy here. No touchy. No touchy. That's all I did was play Jack 2 all day. <laughs> oh yeah, I recently got a uh, Batman um, Arkham I Asylum, which is free for the uh, PlayStation Plus member, which I am. The game is pretty interesting. Will I do a let's play of it? We'll see. Oh, but let me make a save state. Alright, now this is my backup save. I need to stop saying save state because I'm playing this for my PS3 console, not the emulator. <laughs> Alright. Aaron blank stare. Alright, there's a vent up there, so let's trigger it. Aha, there's our next fury. There's no mistaking it. That's the fury. That was easier than I had anticipated. There wasn't even a boss monster. Not exactly, Tierra, and I wouldn't drink myself out of you. No, there's something else here instead. 
Hey, why don't you come out of your hiding place and show yourself? <laughs> I see. Wow. Oh, you did notice me. So Faye wasn't that dumb after all. Well, duh. It was obvious from the menacing vibe filling this place. Exactly. And I love how Fang is trying his best not to break the fourth wall. It seems you really are the ones who defeated two of our four heavenly czars. The four heavenly czars. Four heavenly czars. Does that mean? Did the four felons? Yes, I'm gonna keep making that reference. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> not this again. So what? Are you one of the last four heavenly czars? No, but I am here on behalf of the Dorfer Corporation. Now hand over your furies. I want to. I knew it! You were after our furies all along! Why is Dorfer collecting the furies in the first place? There's no reason to explain that to you fools. <laughs> it seems pretty obvious. After you guys collect the Furies, you're gonna use your one wish for world domination or something. World domination? Are they planning to revive the Vile God? The Vile God, you say? That has to be it. The Furies contained the Goddess's power, which was used to seal away the Vile God ages ago. It stands to reason that you could also use that power to break the seal containing the Vile God. If Dorfa obtains the power of the Vile God, it will be easy for them to bend the world to their will. The Furies! The Goddess's power! The Vile God's revival! Yeah, this is pretty much hyper dimension of Tunia Mark II written all over it. all over it. Oh, God, I'm so tongue tied. Ugh. Show me your power. The power that defeated not one but two of the four heavens. Cause this is pretty much how they this is pretty much like how they how they revive R4. CF3 R4. In a way. You have to defeat this guy! That's right. I cannot allow this man to carry out his wicked scheme. I don't really care what happens to the world. But if you're reaching for a fight, I'll gladly accept your challenge. Such a fearless fool. It's time you learn that some heights can never Let's see how tough this asshole is. Sanguina, prepare for battle! Suppress and annihilate the enemy! Understood, Master. Oh hello! Annihilate. I don't know if it's me, but she kinda looks like the alternate version of Bayonetta. Got that music. Got love it. Holy fuck. Alright, so meet Bernard. So he has an extra health bar. So is he weak against water? Time to find out. So him with the guy from Spear there, Tierra. Oh, yep, he's weak against that. So we will, we will keep spamming that. Alright. Guns a combo. Do your, do your stuff there, to, uh, Harley. I'm like overpowered. It's not even funny. But I don't mind for uh, Fang to raise up his attack. His attack up. Again, I can't talk. Blech. Oh God damn it! This guy is nothing like the other ones I fought. Is that the best you can do? It looks like this will be an easy job. Tell me, would you prefer to give me your furies before I kill you? Shall I rip them from your cold, dead hands? You live longer if you give them to me. Though it will only be for a few seconds. <laughs> never! I will never surrender the Furies to someone who wants to revive the vile god! And once again, this is Neptunia Mark II written all over it. I'm... We're collecting the Furies to revive the goddess! The goddess. Prove both your choices! Who the hell would give their theories to someone like you? Very well. I'll just take everything from you. Starting with your life. <laughs> Alright. We'll keep him with God's spirit since he's weak against that. 
and do this more and take a lot of damage. You may notice. Wow, look at that. Alright. Nice. We almost got him just like that. Alright. Rockfall. Let's see what that does. I think I might have shown it all, but I barely pick it. And he is a dangerous enemy. Don't forget. Alright. Oh man, another cutscene? We almost we almost had him. Oh, damn it. Is this really it for us? No, it's not. We was kicking his ass. He's too no, he's not. He, he's not powerful. I understand this is a game, but did, did y'all did you see all the damage y'all been doing to this motherfucker? No, we haven't lost yet. Don't give up. Duh. No bravery, though commendable. I wanna know, is it really possible if I can beat him before this cussing activates? I wanna know. Bring it on! That is if you're if you're really, 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 really overpowered. What remember? What? What do you mean? Look, like she's about to tell us something. You're what? What? What is this? What in the world is this power? Gary pick? Am I sitting a Gary pick? Ah, huh, no Gary pick. This is the inn we normally stay at. How did we get here? What happened to us? I think the goddess's power activated. The goddess's power? That's impossible! I mean, how? Yeah, how? And you're the one who used it, right, Aaron? You... Aaron used it? How? Okay, can you just get to the fucking point? Bang. Tiara. I'm sorry I made you worry. I remembered a little bit more about myself. Are you serious? But how are you able to do something like that? Because she inherited the goddess's power. Right, Aaron? That's a lie. You're lying, right? I don't fully understand it myself, but somehow I can feel it. It's very hazy, but I feel like I once fought against a powerful darkness. That must be a memory of the battle that the goddess and the vile god waged long ago. Then you're seriously... Yeah. My assumption was correct. She's not just a regular fairy. She's the physical incarnation of the goddess. Dun dun dun. Uh. So yeah, here comes some more Neptunian reference I'm gonna make. Aaron's Aaron's character is Neptunia's character written over it. She hasn't regained all of her memories. So it's hard to think that she has all of the goddesses. So yeah, Aaron and Neptune has something in common. But then again, this this was made by the same company who, who did uh Neptunia. Manifested itself as Aaron. Yeah, that's probably it. We can assume that the subterranean tower has a plot. The subterranean tower I can never pronounce that. When our backs were against the wall. The part of Aaron that was once part of the goddess must have awakened. Whoa, that's pretty amazing. Aaron's awakened, huh? 
If that's the case, let's go back and defeat that bastard for good. <laughs> you tell that asshole. I call Bernard an asshole, not you, Aaron. why Aaron's memories felt so much stronger but her revival as the goddess is far from complete well, but now I remember the true purpose behind collecting the furies as long as we do that we can fully revive the goddess and in doing so all the evil that remains in this world will be washed away which means Dorfa's plans for world domination will be crushed too then we already know what to do! Let's hurry up and revive the goddess! How do we do that? <laughs> now, now, there is no need to rush. Nobody likes an impatient boy. What are you talking about? If Eren has the goddess's memories, then she should know how to revive her, right? Yeah, I do know the revival ritual, and I know where the ritual is supposed to be performed, but... Then let's get going! There's still something missing. The faith drop. The faith drop? The faith drop? The faith drop, you say? Is something wrong? Hello, right? Sherman. Do you should we just come out of fucking nowhere? Where have you been? Do you know what we just been through? What the heck were you doing anyway? Yeah, what was he doing? He's just like randomly comes out comes out of fucking nowhere. No, nothing in particular. Can we can we trust Sherman? And he joined the party once again. Only one way to find out. Nine, nine, everyone. Ah, <sighs> it's morning, but we still wait. We still didn't find out how uh, Fang with the gel was stealing the bread. All right. One few, one, one more cut scene before we end the episode. They might as well. Let's get this cussing out the way. I sent out rock. Tolisha sent out scissors. <laughs> Lahas and Shoji should be going grocery shopping, not me. Whose idea was it to do rock, paper, scissors anyway? I have no idea. Please stop! Hmm? No, let me go! Oh, hello, miss. Stop complaining, little lady. That's right. Just be quiet and do what we tell you. If you don't, we'll hurt you. You don't want that now, do you? Stop! Somebody, please help me! Give it up already. Everyone's just ignoring you. No! Hey, you creep. Get your filthy hands off her. Huh? Who the hell are you? I'm really pissed off. That's who. She was useless. <laughs> God damn it. You're giving a slip, you bastard. Stay out of this. Rock, paper, scissors, go. God damn it, Fang. That's not how that's not how it goes. Damn it. I'll remember this. Thank you so much. You saved me. I wasn't trying to save you. I was just blowing off some steam. Okay, I'm gonna just cut scene and finally one with rock. I'm gonna tell you right I'm gonna tell you right now this this cutscene is gonna be quite shocking. But you'll see what's gonna happen. Are you traveling alone? Yes. You gotta protect yourself when you're on your own. If you can't do that, you shouldn't travel by yourself. I'm sorry. But I Huh? Uh no. Um what? Uh, yes. Um, I don't really know anything about this town. Do you know where I can get something to eat? And can you tell me your name is? Emily. As in Emily Fields from Pretty Little Liars. Of course. That's why I brought you here. Do you like fish cakes too? Yes, I do. You can have mine. Dig in. Thank you very much. My stupid swirly fish case are the only thing I don't like about this place is ramen. Why is that? 
The swirls make me dizzy. I can't stare at them without feeling like I'm gonna hurt. Oh my god. <laughs> kind of weird, but they taste good. Are you sure you don't want a bite? No thanks. Kayaki tastes so good. The crust is crunchy and the red bean paste is so sweet. Yeah, that's just my favorite. It always tastes good, but it tastes even better after a bowl of ramen. Are you sure it's okay if you treat me to this? You paid for the ramen, so now we're even. <laughs> What's so funny? You remind me of my big brother. Her brother? She has a brother. Big brother. Do I look like him? Oh no, not at all. He's a very serious looking person. What's that supposed to mean? That you have the same blunt attitude as him. I like I would like to meet your brother. Huh. That's so. Thanks. I'd like you to have this. Okay. An amulet? I made medicine from boiled berry flowers and poured it in this amulet. My brother is a warrior, and I gave that to him just in case he ever got wounded. But he said he didn't need it. You should try giving it to him again. That'd be better than giving that amulet to me. That's impossible. I remind you of your brother, right? Trust me, he'll take it if you keep bugging him about it. He's just being shy. As <laughs> I wouldn't say that. No, that's not it. Huh? I can't give this to my brother. He's no longer with me. Aww. So sorry to hear that, Emily. He was killed by a <gasps> Uh oh. Do you guys think do you guys know where this is going by now? Cause I'm starting to suspect something. Let's move on. What do you mean? My brother was a fencer who worked for the Dorfa Corporation before he died. <gasps> and do you guys have a feeling that we have met this person before? Moving on. Dorfa. Emily. What was your brother's name? Is it who we think it is? Apollonius. Dun dun dun! Yup. Ap Apollonius is Emily's brother. And how he died? Well, we killed him. Fang killed him. But she doesn't know. Don't you guys just love plot twists? I do. I kind of wish I went through this blind. I would have had a better reaction than this right now. Yes, I have to avenge my brother's death. Do you really have to do that? My brother loved the sight of cherry blossoms. We used to view them together every year. He was my only family. Got a little plot twist. I was a baby, so he had to raise me himself. But if you think this shit is a twist. Just wait till later on in this, in this LP. But I never once doubted his love for me, so I was still really happy. But now, I can't go and look at the cherry blossoms with him anymore. I hate my brother's killer. I hate him more than I've ever hated anything. And I swear, I'll kill him myself one day. Well, you're talking to him right now there, Emily. But of course she's unaware that Fang is the murderer. My journey will never end. Emily. Take care of yourself, Fang. Good Shoot, this is Spider-Man. This is Spider-Man all over again, where uh Harry Osborne trying to finish his father's death and he winds up killing uh Peter Parker. Emily Emily's amulet. Alright. This must be a sub event cutscene. I think it's supposed to be to speed this up a little since this video is going longer than it should be. Of course you love money. You must be Mr. Krabs' uh, girlfriend. Oh no 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 no. He's, he is way too old for you. <laughs> And 
besides he's a crab. Ugh. Oh yeah, remember? Oh, oh that's right. I, oh, that's right. I mentioned this in my um, in in my, in my last video of uh, the Undead Nightmare. But to people who watch my um, who only watch my favorite first Lust play, I mentioned that the they announced the uh, release date for Smash Four for the Wii U. It comes out on uh, December. No, 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 no. It comes out on November twenty first, two thousand fourteen. And also. After they announced the release date for it, they also, they also announced the release date for Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker for the Wii U, and that's coming out on December 5th, 2014, and hopefully when I go to games, when I go to GameStop tomorrow or Saturday when I get my hair cut, I'm going to pre-order it, because I've seen trails of it on the, at, a, at E3, and it looks, it looks pretty promising, and it's going to be a puzzle platforming game, which I kind of like. But yeah, folks, that hype is real. But I'm more, I'm more psyched about uh, Smash 4 to be honest, cause I, cause everyone knows that when I get my hands on Smash 4, I'm, I'm gonna be playing the fuck out of it. Which is why I'm gonna hurry, I'm gonna hurry and beat Jack too, cause that game is really stressing me out. But I'm still gonna do a let's play of it no matter what. But don't be surprised by raising it. All right, party's over. All right. Yeah, you know, all right. That's all. Right, that's the. All right, that's all we're gonna. That's all we're gonna show in today's episode. So next time, let's play Fairy Friends or F. We're gonna watch a cutscene in the Sunflower Inn and see what's what's in store for us. So until next time, Celtics eighty four two out.